Welcome to the Two Rescuer BLS and CPR for Adults. In this video, we'll discuss the Two Rescuer BLS process and CPR steps. Many times, there will be a second person available who can act as a rescuer. The AHA emphasizes that cell phones are available everywhere now and most have a built-in speakerphone. Direct the second rescuer to call 911 without leaving the person while you begin CPR. This second rescuer can also find an AED while you stay with the individual. When the second rescuer returns, the CPR tasks can be shared. The steps for CPR are similar between one rescuer and two rescuer BLS. However, there are some slight differences. Let's review the two rescuer CPR steps. For the first step, have the second rescuer retrieve the AED and prepare it for use. Next, deliver chest compressions, counting out loud. Then, have the second rescuer apply the AED pads. After the first rescuer delivers 30 chest compressions, have the second rescuer open the individual's airway and give two rescue breaths. Continue the CPR cycles of 30 compressions followed by two breaths. Switch positions every five cycles. One cycle consists of 30 compressions and two breaths. Be sure that between each compression, you completely stop pressing on the chest and allow the chest wall to return to its natural position. Leaning or resting on the chest between compressions can keep the heart from refilling in between each compression and make CPR less effective. Rescuers who become tired may tend to lean on the chest more during compressions. Switching roles helps rescuers perform high quality compressions. Try to minimize interruptions in CPR by switching positions while the AED analyzes the heart rhythm. If a shock is indicated, Minimize interruptions in CPR. Resume CPR as soon as possible. This concludes our lesson on two rescuer BLS and CPR for adults. Next, we'll review the adult mouth-to-mask ventilation.